Welcome back to the Witcher Enhanced Edition. We're out here looking for Alvin, who I think has run away from Alina's house for some reason. Han. Is that a, a herb? Aha, here's the broken bridge. Um, Alvin is apparently out by the a giant centipede. Um, I don't have any of this, Han. Let's go and pick that up. If I've got some space for it, I think I do. Got a little bit of space in my inventory for various odds and ends as well. Uh, is there anything over here? There is a corpse. Let's uh, check out this broken bridge. Okay, so there's no way across at the moment. I will check out this corpse though. Now I think oh, I can I can go down here, but there's nothing nothing to see down here at the moment. There is a little bit of uh, water around here. Let's go and uh, check out that corpse because <clears throat> uh, what have we got? Uh, an earth rune, some fish, some orin. Let's just go and grab uh, all of that for now. So that's the broken bridge. Now the ruins are just over here to the uh, the west. And I guess I should... Oh, centipede, centipede. Oh, 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 crap. Oh, I got it. Uh, that thing was uh, pretty tough. Let's go and uh, check out the remains. We do have a quest, I think, for uh, the Chitnus Carapaces. So let's go and grab that. Let's go and transfer all. Did I grab it? I did. Um, oops. I wonder if there's going to be more of those things around. I'm not sure how many of these I need as well. Uh, I think I need a, a fair few of them. Anyway, let's go and have a look. Oh, there's Alvin there. I do want to... Um Okay, Alvin's not too far away. Let's go and take out uh, the second giant centipede here. Um. Oh, there's a few of them. There's a couple of them. Oh, damn it. God, there's three of them. Oh, I'm stunned as well. Damn it, damn it. I'm stunned, I'm stunned. Ah, oh, damn, damn, damn. Get out of here, get out of here. Ah, oh, I can't, I'm stunned, I'm stunned.
Okay, that was actually quite a difficult fight. I think I was using the wrong uh, style there. I thought I was on a strong style, but uh, I was on the quick style and probably made it a little bit more difficult for myself. Okay, we've got the giant, uh, we've completed the giant centipede contract. I just need to go and see the elven craftsman for that. There's another unknown herb there, so obviously I do need to buy another book for some of these herbs. What is Alvin doing? Geralt of Rivia himself. You're renowned in the ghost world. Alvin, step away. Summoned ghosts can be very dangerous. I just wanted to use the power like Triss. Normally I'm kind. Just lonely of late. I'd like Alvin to keep me company playing dice. He's a clever boy. Leave him alone. A classic solution then. Let's play for him. The loser leaves the boy to the other. You don't stand a chance. Confident. Splendid. Oh gosh, oh we're playing a game of... Did he say game of dice? <laughs> I thought we were going to have a fight. I've got a lot of cash here. Um, I better not lose this game. So roll the dice. I thought we were going to have a fight. I'm, I'm confident having a fight, but not so confident uh, playing the dice. Because if the, if the roll goes against you... Um... I guess I could try for the triples. Damn, you got two pairs. Oh, we won. We won with um, three of a kind. So that was a little bit lucky there. Let's roll again for the second round. Uh, a couple of twos, which is not that good. Damn, he's got two pairs already. We could go for three of a kind once more. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna try for three of a kind again. Yes, we've got it. So we might get lucky here. If he doesn't get the uh, the full house, six one four. Ah, oh, damn! He got th he got a higher three of a kind. That was unlucky, but uh, we are one apiece now. Let's roll again. See if I can get a, a good good roll here. Couple of fives, couple of ones, okay. Two pair. What drew you to these ruins? The hermit told me they were magic. Triss said I'd learn to cast spells someday. I like magic. Happiness never lasts. I had no right to expose Alvin that way. The salamanders don't know the concept of mercy. They'd stop at nothing. I wasn't made to be a father. I'm a witcher. Sometimes I truly regret. I miss them. Her. I have a gift for you. You like this dimeridium necklace? Well, necklaces are for girls. This'll keep your nightmares at bay. I wear one too. An amulet like yours! 
Do you want to live with Alina and Julian? I dream about Alina. I see her in the fields, dancing in sunlight, searching. She tells me to help, but I know we won't find anything. When I wake, I can't breathe and feel bad. They're just bad dreams, Alvin. Would you want to live with ordinary people? But just protect people like these. Simple, defenseless, normal. Put on the necklace. Dwan! Look into my eyes. See your death. I don't need to hear this. You're not even human. Alvin. Now do you see the necessity of this action, no matter the price? Garrett, open your mind. Alvin is safe. I can turn my attention to other, mat other matters. I must find Julian and warn him. What do I need to warn Julian about? Let's have a look at this skeleton. Uh oh. He's back. What's keeping you here? The sole thing capable of overcoming death. Love? <laughs> I didn't know you to be a romantic. I speak of dice, of course. Is a game worth coming back for? It's a passion, not a game. I know. Maid lost fortunes playing poker. Lost my life, too, in a stroke of bad luck. A game? Gladly. Should I toss for you? <laughs> I'll manage. Leave. Okay. I wonder if anyone can outplay me at poker. Now, there was someone who was a, um, a professional. Now, maybe we will be able to play the professionals now that we've beaten another sharper. Is that... That's Alvin running off in the distance. Let's have a quick look over here. There's the place of power and there's a passage to the fields. We haven't checked out the fields yet. Um, we still have a few things to do around here uh, in the village, but maybe we should go to the fields and just, just see what's there. Um, there's a wolf. I don't think I have a wolf contract. I'm not going to bother. Uh, with that wolf, but I will take this uh, this path over to the fields and see what we can find. Because um, I don't think we've explored that section at all. Um, okay, road to the fields, signpost, road to fields. Right, let's let's see where this takes us. We can always come back to the village in the morning and uh, can finish off all of our quests. We need to speak with Alina and Julian. Uh, Alvin? I dreamt I was a witcher fighting this monster and I wasn't afeared at all! I told you all to go home, Alvin. Feel no fear. Villagers say Berengar is afraid to kill some giant fish. Not you. I want to be a witcher. Do you think it's fun? Sure. One like you. Not like Berengar. Witchers are so brave. They never grow ill. It's not true that witchers are never afraid. Besides, none remain who can complete the mutation. Too bad. That would be really nice. Sorry, Alvin. Oh, that stinks. Yes? What is he doing out here? Um, how did you get to murky waters? How did you get to murky waters? I was learning the elder language with Triss. There was a terrible storm. Then Triss told me to hide under the bed. Go on. I heard heavy footsteps on the stairs. Then Triss got angry at those men. Angrier than she was when I colored her dress with magic paint that is only seen in the dark. I can imagine. I heard cries and people falling down the stairs, and I smelt burnt meat. Then more men came through the windows on ropes. They got Triss and beat her, I think. And a man in glasses asked her where I was. She said she teleported me to a friend in Kuvir, where the air is clean and there are many things to do. 
what happened then? The one in glasses said something about playing with her, and Trish said you would find him and kill him. Mm-hmm. And then she kicked him between the legs and he started crying, and the others were afraid to get close to her because she started casting spells. Yeah, Triss is good at taking care of herself. Don't worry about her. Then someone ordered the room to be searched and they found me. I ran, and they chased me, and I was running so fast. But then I tripped, and they caught me. They put a sack on my head and led me somewhere. I was scared, more than in the outskirts. I shut my eyes and imagined I was far away from those people. Somewhere beautiful with the sun shining. And then Alina found me. I'm not lying. I believe you. I won't go back there. They'll hurt me. Trish should come here. It's all right. Let's see. I'll be good. I promise. You should stop playing Kill the Elf. I really like that game. I always win. Well, almost. Alvin. Okay, I'll stop. Hmm. <laughs> okay, no more Kill the Elf. Alvin, go home, would you? He's out here in the middle of the night. Uh, okay, the road to the murky waters. What is... What is out here in the fields? Let's just have a quick look around. It looks like there is some old, old building. Is this some kind of a ruin? Han. I don't have much of this Han at the moment, so if I can grab... Where's the Han? There we go. Let's go and grab some of this Han, and then... Oh, there's a corpse over here as well. Let's have, take a quick look at the ruined mill. Murky waters, small farm. Passage uh, over to the lakeside. Okay, let's check out the uh, the ruined mill first of all. There is. Oh, Alvin, you scared me, buddy. Holy moly, Alvin, don't follow so close behind me, buddy. Okay, let's check out the corpse. Ah, there's a book, Elder Brood, a tome discussing the abilities of sorcerers. I think. I think I need that book. Alright, let's see if we can find out a little bit more about Elven here. The Elder Brood. It is impossible to accurately trace the genes of Lara Doran. The fates of entire generations are lost to time. Their picture further distorted by unclear lineages, bastard children, intentional hysterical falsification, and a simple lack of records. In many cases, Elder Blood is too thin and has lost its power. Moreover, not every source attributes their magical skills to the presence of Lara's genes. A few in whom the mutation has occurred are marked by extraordinary abilities. They are able to travel through time and space and possess certain magical abilities. These talents are, however, wild and uncontrolled, manifesting themselves in times of stress or strong emotions, surprising even their possessors. History knows of travelers flung far in time and space by their own abilities. That is why the Brotherhood of Sorcerers should take special care of source children, raise them under its watchful eyes. The Brotherhood of sorcerers. Okay. Do I already know about the Brotherhood of Sorcerers? And is there some way uh, into this mill? Is there some way into this mill? I could rest until the morning. Uh, let's rest here, Alvin, until the morning. Um. I can get rid of my uh, my toxic uh, toxicity there. Reduce the toxicity. You're just going to meditate until dawn. Um, do I want to make some more alchemy potions? Uh, the cat potions have a got. I've got a cat potion already, a swallow potion. And... can produce the Kikimor's Ire for the Mutation Stamina Upgrade. The King and Queen Bomb. Stuns opponents. Uh, swallow Potion. Let's go for a, a Thunderbolt Potion. Now I needed Oh, 
Or is it the white honey or the white gull? I did need some honey, I think, for the... Uh, I needed it, I think it's for the baker, actually. Immunity to stun and knockdown. Increases attack efficiency and damage inflicted by 50%. Okay, let's go and make one of those as well. Um, white Gull Potion is an alchemical base. Okay, let's just make a, uh, a few of those. Uh, and we're going to meditate now until the morning. Okay, that looks a little bit better. It's a little bit easier to see. And um, can we get a noon wraith? Can I get into the uh, the old mill? You better stay here, Alvin. It's going to be a little bit dangerous up here. I can I can get up onto the. Can I get up onto the? Oh, I can't just get up onto the roof here. Well, this is interesting. Expecting this to collapse. Um, hmm. Okay, I can't get in at the moment. Maybe there is some other way to get to, into the old mill. Oh, there's the new race there. Okay, let's go and uh, check out the remains here of this noon wraith and uh, see what they have with them shimmering dust. So I'll go and grab that. Yeah, I don't know where the entrance is to this to this mill. I can't seem to can't seem to get inside at the moment. So maybe there isn't uh, isn't any easy way in. Uh, I'm not sure what that little pathway is up to the roof because I can't. I can't really see anything uh, up there either. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any uh, other way into the old mill. It's, it's all blocked up at the moment. Unless there's something around here. No, it looks like um, looks like the old mill is all blocked up, but that's fine. We killed a couple of noon wraiths. Did I check out this corpse when I arrived? I did. Um, okay. Well, let's have a look and see what else uh, is around here. We're going to head it down to the, uh, the small farm now, which is maybe we can follow this around. Is there another noon wraith over here? Well, there's a few Dagon worshippers. They don't like the fire, actually. I have learnt.
Okay, yeah, the priest kept on healing up, which made things a little bit, a uh, little bit difficult. But um, uh, bladder scales, and we've got Tu's head. Oh, he was a difficult, uh, difficult monster. So we do have a, a trophy. Beautiful. So I guess I'm going to carry that along with me on my belt, and uh, maybe there's somebody that I can, I can sell that to. Let's go and uh, grab all of that, and there's one more. One more warrior over here. Let's go and grab all of those. Okay, so... There's a, I think a farm or something over here, if I can find a way. Don't tell me I'm, I'm stuck down here now. Oh, there's a Druid Circle. Well, we might as well go down to the Druid Circle while we're here. Um, unless there's some way up to the, uh, the small farm. Uh, let's see what we can find over here. A druid circle in the fields, a lantern. Can we rest here? Oh, we can place something in there. There's nothing for us to, to place inside the druid circle at the moment, so I guess we need to, to learn a little bit more about it. Is there an easy way over to the, um, uh, to the small farm? Uh, maybe we can head through here. No, it looks like the forest is a little bit too thick. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look like there is an easy way down, so we may have to... May have to head back around, but there are some standing stones here. The circle of the, the walking fire. I think that's going to increase... Uh, sign intensity by 50%. Here we go. And that's probably now showing up on the map as well. Uh, let's see if I can get to this small farm, see if somebody is actually living there. Uh, there's another place of... Uh, there is another place of power here as well. Uh, we might as well perform the Ritual of Magic there. Now, this wasn't on the map, was it? There's a, there is a farm over here. These, this wheat makes it a little bit difficult to, to see what's going on. The Hermit's Hut, and the her Hermit is over there as well. Let's just uh, walk through and uh, see if we can have a chat with him. How can I help? Oh, we can play some some poker with him Anything as well. Witcher can do for you. I do have a problem. How can I help? There's a druid's ring nearby with an ancient statue of the goddess. The place is saturated with the power and attracts dangerous entities. Not surprising. The wild hunt began haunting the ring recently. Its king hopes to lure the souls of the warriors laid in the Kurgans by my hut. I have dealt with the hunt. What would you like me to do? Kill nine phantoms, a hallowed number of the druids. Perhaps the appearance of a witcher will drive off the king of the hunt. As your reward, you may have a book on vampires, ownership of a hut, or a wreath of immortels. Hmm. I can do that. Remember this. The king of the hunt is a powerful opponent, and no mortal, not even you, can hope to defeat him. So how do I fight him? Find Mandrake Root by the Kurgans near my hut. The magic herb will keep the king of the hunt at bay. Merely light the candle that stands within the ring and sprinkle Mandrake upon the flame. Yeah, that sounds helpful. How can I help? Can I ask you something? What is it? Oh, gee. Okay. Uh, we've got... a lot we can ask him here. Who is the Lady of the Lake? Who is the Lady of the Lake? I know her to be a goddess. At times I see her dressed in white, traversing the fields through morning fog, her bare feet stepping lightly over the dewy grass. Do you like her? I love her. I believe the lady is not of this world. Mysteriously, she affects the entire area, 
safeguarding its people and granting them abundance. Yet her influence is subtle, and she never imposes her power. Intriguing. How can I help? We can have a look at his store as well. Can I ask well. you something? Can I ask him a few more things here? Who lies beneath the Kurgans I saw before your hermitage? Knights who died serving the lady over the ages. Gavander defended her honor against the Black Skull Knight. Elavera perished at the foot of her altar fighting a water beast. Boar's tomb is symbolic, for the knight was lost on a holy mission. The last is for Renard, an ordinary innkeeper who stopped customers from pissing in the lake. <laughs> <coughs> I wonder if any of them have uh, pieces of armor on them. Who lies beneath the fifth mound? The last stands empty, awaiting a new champion. Oh, there's a noon wraith. There's a noon wraith coming. Who lies beneath the Kurgans I saw before your hermitage? Knights who died. Uh, Do you take care of the Kurgans? Indeed. That is how I serve the lady. Her power is strong near the Kurgans. At night, sometimes, you can speak with the ladies' champions. From them, I draw wisdom and knowledge of past times. Okay, so maybe we need to come back here at night and we can speak with these champions. I heard you're an expert on the legend of the Holy Grail. You seek the Holy Grail? I might. Let's talk first. Know that the legend of the Holy Grail has been studied for centuries. It's been interpreted in myriad ways. You must know an abridged version. Say, three theories? There are hundreds. But all right, three. The classic theory, of which I myself am a proponent. The conspiracy theory. And finally, one of the most mysterious. The philosophical or mystical. Which one first? All right, the classic theory. Tell me the classic theory. Good choice. The Grail is a cup, a powerful magical object whose meaning cannot be fathomed by even the most powerful sorcerers. This chalice possesses the power to heal all diseases, poisonings, and wounds, and pain will turn into power. One theory also states that in the hands of a rightful ruler, it can heal entire lands and protect their inhabitants from danger, creatures of the dark, natural disasters, and so forth. Sounds like Dandelion's ballads, only without a love story. All who drink from this miraculous cup are healed, fortified, and enlightened to understand the truth. Let's move on to the conspiracy theory. That one sounds interesting. This was popularized by Bronze Dan, and begins with a convoluted theory about the derivation of the word Grail. A few tortuous pages in, we learn the Holy Grail is actually Sangrial, which in the Elder Tongue denotes royal hallowed blood. Bronze Dan concludes that the Grail is actually the descendants of the prophet Lebioda. Go on. These descendants, talented in the ways of magic, were protected by a secret organization before they ultimately mixed their own blood with that of En Seid, the knowledgeable one. The theory goes on to present the tempestuous and twisted fate of Sangrial, but the author gets lost in his arguments, often contradicts himself. Generally, it turns into an unholy mess. Enough genealogy and genetics. I sense that's a false trail. Which theory should I present next? The philosophical, mystical one. Mm. The most esoteric. The Grail is a concept, a general understanding of good. The search for the Grail is nothing beyond an ordinary quest for perfection. Interesting. The Grail has no specific form or shape. It differs for each individual. It can be an object, an idea, a discovery. It can also be a search for the truth about oneself. Mm. This theory claims the quest for the Grail to be the goal in itself. The result is of secondary importance. What are you suggesting? I serve the lady, 
and am more insightful than you think. I know you return to the world of the living from death, presumably in search of something, but that is none of my concern. Just remember one thing. What? At the end of your journey, the Grail may prove to be entirely different from what you initially expected it to be. Tell me the classic theory. Good choice. The Grail, this ch sounds like all. Okay, we can go on from here. Go on. Knights have been seeking the Grail for ages, yet none succeeded. Both the noble Lancel and the bold Boars failed. I heard even the Grand Master of the Order of the Flaming Rose has shown interest. Any specific instructions associated with this theory? Unfortunately, I know only what I garnered from my books. Hmm. Thank you. Farewell. Well, we can check out his Life store. Gotten old. There is a, a fireplace here, so this could be a good place to rest for a little while. We've been given a couple of quests as well. Uh, can we actually go inside his house? Oh, it's locked. Okay, I was hoping we could find maybe some books to read in there. But uh, he's probably got them on him. How can I help? Oh, he's got a lot of books. He's got uh, a fair fair bit for sale here. We can sell off some of the Stimulford's dust. Bottled water. There's a bit of fruit here. Some daisies and... Oh, the mandrake root. That's what we need, isn't it? Do I have mandrake root already? I do not. So, okay. I'm going to have to buy the mandrake root for the shrine. Mistletoe. Let's go and grab the uh, the mandrake cordial as well. I've got a fair a fair bit of cash here, so this should be fine. Read that increases endurance level. How much does that cost? Maribor Forest. Um. Secrets of the Southern, Southern Masters. The Book of the Golden. I guess I'll grab that one. Patry's Filter. Increases intensity of Witcher signs. It costs 500. It's a lot of money. Kikimor's Ire. I've got that one. Hmm. 800. Great Book of Minerals. Plants of the Barren Lands. Okay, let's go and buy that one. Let's go and buy that one. Do I want the Great Book of Minerals? Uh, I'm, I'm curious about this Dagon sap. It's going to cost me a lot, but... Okay. Thanks, buddy. And I'm going to uh, have a quick read of these. I can sell them back again. Uh, the Dagon Sap, formula for a potion made with the secretions of the legendary Dagon. The potion unlocks the ability to acquire a strength upgrade when consumed. Okay. Interesting. Uh, I've got the, the contracts there. We've got uh, Plants of the Barren Lands. Describes Wolf's Aloe, Bryonia, Verbena, Honeysuckle, and Genasia. Okay. And the Druid's Herbarium discusses various plants, all spires, root, wolf, aloe, mistletoe. Uh, some of them are um, overlapping there with the other book, but... Okay, hopefully we can sell these back for a decent price. How can I help? Um, let's head back here and... He's not, he's not gonna buy them... He's not going to buy them back. Uh, let's go and uh, see if we can, can I... see if we can win some money off him. Um, let's go with a 45 first of all and uh, roll the dice. There's quite a few people to play uh, dice poker with. Okay, he's got two pairs. I'm still going to feel. I'm still feeling pretty confident here. Let's. 
see if I can go for a, a triple here. Damn it. I'm putting a lot of money into this, but I don't know if I should have risked it. But risked it. But um, if I can get a three here, we'll be in a good, good place to uh, to win this round. Couple of threes. There we go. Okay. Luckily, we got four of a kind there because he did have a full house. Let's go to the next round. Oh, you got, you got three of a kind. Three of a kind. I don't want to risk any more money on this one because I got quite lucky in the last round. I only need one more three. He's got three of a kind, three ones. So three threes should, should win. If I get lucky with another three here. Come on, damn it. And uh, he had four of a kind anyway, so. Well done, he won the match, and I lost a little bit of cash there. But we're gonna hang out here for a little while. There is a, uh, a fireplace. We've got a few little quests to do. We need to go over to the Druid Circle and use the Mandrake and uh, take out the, uh, the hunt as well and uh, yeah we're going to do that and hopefully uh, beat the hermit in uh, dice poker as well so we can continue with that quest anyway thank you for watching see you all again soon for the witcher enhanced edition